You see the stunning photos online. A perfectly designed container home, strong, secure, and beautiful. You focus on the sleek metal walls, the large glass windows, the modern interior. But the single greatest threat to the life of your container home, the one mistake that can lead to its slow and certain collapse, is completely invisible. It's not the quality of the steel or the skill of the welder. It's the unseen enemy that attacks from below. Get this first step wrong, and your dream home will be sitting on a foundation of failure. Most people think a foundation's only job is to hold the weight of the house. And while that's important, for a container home, it's not even its primary mission. The foundation's number one job is to win the war against the single greatest enemy of steel, constant, relentless moisture. The earth is a giant sponge, always damp, always breathing humidity. And the most cone and seductive mistake first-time builders make is placing their container too close to it or even directly on it. This creates a dark, damp, and airless trap underneath, inviting condensation and turning the strong steel floor of your container into a slow-motion rust factory. This leads us to the first non-negotiable rule of a successful container foundation. You must elevate to dominate. Getting the steel off the ground is your primary objective. The most proven and effective way to do this is with a pier foundation, a series of simple, strong concrete columns that lift the container at its corners. This simple act of creating a significant air gap underneath the structure is a complete game changer. It allows air to circulate freely, drying out any moisture from the ground before it can ever touch the steel. This single rule doesn't just prevent rust, it dramatically simplifies running plumbing and utilities, and it's the first and most critical step in ensuring your home will last for a lifetime. The second rule is to respect the brilliant engineering you're working with. A shipping container is not a simple box, it's a highly specialized structure. Almost all of its incredible strength, the ability to be stacked nine high, carrying hundreds of tons, is concentrated in its four massive corner posts. The long steel beams at the floor level are not designed to carry the primary load. They are designed to transfer it to the corners. This means your foundation must be designed to support the container exactly where it's strongest, at those four corner castings. Placing supports in the middle of the container's long side can actually cause the floor to sag and deform over time. By supporting the container where it was designed to be supported, you are working with its inherent strength, not against it. The third and final rule is to turn your container from a temporary box into a permanent home. While a four-ton container feels immovable, it can still be vulnerable to shifting from minor ground movements or even extreme winds when it's empty. To create a truly permanent and safe structure, you must anchor it for a lifetime. This is done by physically locking the container to the foundation. The most common methods are to weld steel plates from the container's base to plates embedded in the concrete piers, or to use specialized twist locks that connect directly to the container's corner castings. This final step is what legally and physically transforms your project from a box sitting on concrete into a unified rock-solid structure, ensuring it will never shift, slide, or move no matter what nature throws at it. So there you have it. The secret to a foundation that will never fail isn't about complexity. It's about following three simple, powerful pillars. First, elevate the steel to win the war against moisture. Second, support the container at its corners to respect its inherent engineering. And third, anchor it down to create a permanent, unified structure. These three pillars, elevate, support, and anchor, are the difference between a container simply placed on the land and a true, rock-solid home built to last. Get these right, 
and you've built your dream on a foundation of confidence. If these three fundamental rules have given you the confidence to plan your foundation the right way, show your support with a like and subscribe to Container Curious. We've secured the base of your home, but what about the top? A container's roof is its single biggest weakness against the elements. In our next video, we'll break down the number one roof design that prevents container homes from leaking and rusting away. You don't want to miss it.